think it reinforces the fabric of our nation to show that it's it's something that's still alive in us today. They're still active military. They're still serving. They're still going overseas. They're still doing different exercises. It's not something that you should forget about. It's something that keeps our country safe and it helps us become who we are and understand that we're there to help. And in the greater global community, it makes Canada a prominent place to show what we do through Remembrance Day. More than 2.3 million Canadians have served throughout our nation's history. And sadly, over 118,000 made the ultimate sacrifice and never returned. These brave Canadians gave their lives so we could enjoy the freedoms that we have today. That internal sense of service for the betterment of others is simply the Canadian way. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of Canada's veterans, past and present, to all active duty members in the regular forces and the reserves. You are truly the best of us. We are eternally grateful for your sacrifices in every regard. that they take away a bigger understanding of remembrance and what it means to be military and what it means to be part of a community that is there to help out because essentially military is there to protect us they're there to ensure our safety and they are a community and I want people to come in here and find a piece of their history through our museum so that they keep coming back and find their history in our history and be part of the greater global history. It's so important so that we can tell the next generation that it's not just something that happened long ago, it can happen again and we need to be aware of how it connects to our nation's history and to our history today.